Hey everybody, the Zeller family is on day number two of being snowed in, iced in, sleeted in, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't been following the news, uh, Atlanta just got hit by a catastrophic ice storm. I pray for everybody out there though, it is going to be pretty nasty. So uh, yesterday, our first day in the, in the house with cabin fever, uh, our favorite pastime and recreation was eating. And that's basically what I did all day. I sat around and snacked and... You know, I had uh, some leftovers here and there, had some Valentine's Day candy. It was ridiculous. But uh, what's funny was this morning I woke up and I, and, I, and I was eating breakfast. And I said, you know, I don't remember eating anything healthy yesterday. So today, in retrospect to our spiritual life, I want to know what are we eating to remain healthy. And uh, in John chapter uh, 6, uh, if you start with um, verse 33... Jesus says to a crowd asking for uh, food, and, uh, referring mainly to uh, the manna from heaven from when the Israelites were in the wilderness, he says, for the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And in response to that, they say, sir, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. And so, you know, this is interesting because the, the people were looking for Jesus thinking they were going to get a, a wonderful sign like the manna coming down from heaven uh, from uh, the time of the Exodus. And I think in, in, in a lot of ways in, in our contemporary society, there's certain things that we're looking for God to give us uh, that we expect maybe or we're entitled to or to validate that he loves us. And it's just not good for us, kind of like just sitting around eating snacks. It satisfies us to a point... For me, it cured my boredom, but it also, you know, has a has a, a bit of a sensation that we get from time to time when we eat good food. You know, everybody knows what I mean. But it's not good for us. We have to eat our vegetables. We have to eat, you know, our our, our daily uh, intake of, uh, of fruits and vegetables and, and meat and whatnot to remain healthy. And that's what Jesus is saying, is if, if you receive him spiritually, you may not always get the food that you want. You might not always be excited about it. But you'll never go hungry and you'll never go thirsty. It's permanent. It's everlasting. His love will su su will be sufficient through any problems you have. So I'm counting on God today to give me a good snack. How about that? All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow or the next day, depending on how the power outage goes and depending on what's going around here. And for everybody out there in the Atlanta area, in the southeast especially, uh, God be with you. Stay safe. Stay warm. And everybody else, pray for us down here because uh, we're not really used to ice. All right. Have a good day. I hope everybody remains uh, calm and comfortable with their families if you're snowed in.